So one of the other things that you mentioned a few minutes ago was this idea of the collagen network in the body, which I'm assuming is referencing our fascia. Um, and so I wanted to ask more about that too. So, you know, just for our listeners uh, that may not be familiar with what the concept of fascia is, you know, like what is our fascia and how is that part of our, you know, like electrical network? Yeah, absolutely. And that's a great question. And it's really sort of expanding as we speak, right? So fascia is um, a connective tissue that is wrapping all of our structures in the body, whether that's a vessel, an organ like the heart, a muscle fiber, a nerve fiber. <clears throat> and many researchers have expanded this definition to just connective tissue in general. And when we expand it to that definition, that includes every cell in the body so that you have this um, collagen connective tissue connecting everything. There are even some researchers out there that are pushing to include blood and lymph um, as fascia as well. So, you know, it's kind of ever expanding and, and controversial. Some are saying, no, we want it this way. Um, but when we look at, at fascia, it's mostly connective tissue, which is mostly collagen. And we're pretty um, well-versed in that double helix DNA. We can kind of picture that. But collagen makes a triple helix. It's a tropal collagen um, fiber and it creates a nanotubule. So we're talking very small, right? Mm -hmm. Back mm -hmm. again on that quantum level, that nano size. And these um, tropal collagen tubules act as a um, communication network that spans throughout the body. And this network is liquid crystalline in nature. So it is responsive to frequency information. It is responsive to pressure and movement. When it is pressured, um, deformed, moved, it actually, it's piezoelectric. So it creates an electrical charge. Um, talking about ways to increase the, that electron flow, that's a beautiful one, right? Um, just movement creates that piezoelectric capacity of our fascia and collagen to create an electrical charge on the surface. And that's something <clears throat> that we see like in quartz crystals, mm -hmm. right? But our collagen is, is obviously not a hard quartz crystal. It's something that um, we're calling liquid crystalline in nature. And this is something that we're really familiar with in our tech, right? Like our smart screens, our computer screens, us being able to talk right now is facilitated by liquid crystalline technology. So when light gets polarized and hits these liquid crystals in our screen, um, it initiates these beautiful images that we see and the same thing is happening within our body um, within the fascia that piezoelectric viscoelastic capacity of our fascia creates this communication network and you know one of my favorite studies that Jerome Pollock has done and we talked about him with structured water um, and really first identifying that structured water he recreated a collagen tubule and he put it in water and he put infrared energy into the system. And what he saw quite immediately was that not only did the structure water form on the outside of the tubule, it formed on the inside of the tubule. And when that happened, it helped facilitate the flow of protons and water through that tubule. So when we add that to what we know about this fascial collagen tubule network we have throughout the body, we can see that this flow of protons, um, the, the jump conduction of protons being able to move from one part of the body almost instantaneously to another part is facilitated by this dance of collagen, water and frequency information. It's absolutely fascinating and it opens us up to a whole new understanding of what's happening in the body. 
Right. So that really gives a lot of credence to the ancient wisdom of yoga practice because of how important it is for your fascia and your soft tissue. Yeah, absolutely. Acupuncture, the needles deforming the fascia, same thing, creating that piezoelectric charge by inserting. And if if you or your listeners have ever had acupuncture, you know that they insert the needles and then they kind of um, twist them, right? Mm-hmm. They are actually trying to, um, well, I don't know if they're trying to, but they are actually creating a, a deformation of the fascia, which creates an electrical charge. So yeah, yoga, again, all of that ancient wisdom showing up in the most modern science um, experiments. It's, it's, I'm here for it. If you enjoyed that video, and I hope you did, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and check out my other videos. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you next time.